new game unboxing time. This came in uh, just the other day. One that I ordered as part of a friend's order last night on Earth. Timber Peak, the standalone expansion for last night on Earth. Let's slowly rip off little bits of plastic here as we get this opened. Do do do. Come on. Ouch. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, from Flying Frog Productions, Jason C. Hill, I believe he's, he's either like the main designer or the or the CEO of Flying Frog Productions. That's the back of the box there. All kinds of exciting stuff. But, let's see what the main attraction is all about. So, we have the rule book. Just a standard affair. Those are the six heroes that we can get. Sheriff Anderson and I believe Jake and then Sally as well, actually, I think, are all from the old game. The regular uh, Last Night on Earth. So the other three are new. Um, the, that may have changed the line of sight stuff from the old game. Like we may have had, uh, um, you know, rare, uh, clarification, that's what I was looking for. Uh, fire is definitely new from the old game, so that's something we'll see in a second here. Uh, experience system, that wasn't in the base game, but wasn't one of the expansions. Infection markers too, I don't believe, were in the, uh, in the base game. Trees within one of the expansions, and then there's scenario special stuff. That's all the characters, their kind of bios, clarifications. Cool. Uh, and then we got some of the boards here. So we've got the main, the main middle board there of the radio station, and then just the blank foresty one. Then we've got four corners. So the way it works is you put the uh, the main board out and you put corners around it. To make up a, like a, a modular board, if you will, that is uh, some kind of lumber yard. Is there? No, none on the other side. They're not double sided, these unfortunately. I wish they were. It'd be a lot nicer or a lot more variety. I mean, it's nice as it is. They're, they're good quality. Uh, power relay station on that one, and a diner, high school, gym, and a bookstore, a uh, refinery and a train station on that one a hardware store hospital and a police station on there then we've got a bowling alley and a tavern and the road out of town then we've got some of the sheets here so we've got light out tokens um taken over tokens ammo tokens fuel tokens zombie spawner tokens uh these which kind of do special things for scenarios a whole bunch of gas Trees, generators, survivors, uh, fire is on here as well. Uh, various wounds experience, the, the sunlight track, zombie hero tokens. Uh, that'll be for marking the sun track, that'll be for marking a score, and that'll be for marking something. I'm not entirely sure what that would be. Then we've got some hero character cards and probably scenario cards. Ready for help, blow up the town, mountain of dead. Learn to survive, and then we've got some heroes, we've got Nikki, and we've got Ed, and we've got Alice, and we've got Jake from the old game, Sally from the old game, and Shara from the old game. There are upgraded versions of the old old ones, but uh, still kind of cool to have. Uh, then we've got the miniatures of the heroes, which we can have a quick look at here. That's uh, Sheriff Anderson there, in all of his glory. Oh, that's probably never going to focus, is it? Do 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 do. I can't change the focus mode. I locked the focus. Okay, well, you can see them from a distance. And we've got the other ones. And we've got some zombies here. There's a few different molds of zombies and a couple of different colors for your coloring pleasure. Same molds as the old games, I believe, or as the old game looks like, which is fine. Different colors though, which is always nice. I like having a uh, a smattering of different colored zombies. We we only ever play this game as a two player. Ooh. I apologize. I nudged the camera there. Everybody got motion sickness. But yes, we we only ever watch or we only ever play this game as a two player. Uh, so the different colored zombies. If we have up to two zombie players, but that's not something we ever do. 
Uh, then we've got the turn summary and probably upgrade cards. Let's get this cut open here and have a look. Just because I am curious. Oh, that nearly stabbed me in the finger. That would have been bad. Authentic blood. <laughs> uh, come on now. Let's get you open. There we go. That should do it. Just enough to get us entry here. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, yeah, these are our turn summaries. Ooh. Oh, no, they're not. They're kind of stuckish together a little bit. I thought it was like super thick. No, kind of kind of a little stuck together, which is okay. Hero upgrades, you can see how badly they're stuck together, actually. Just sliding these, no good. I mean, you can break them apart. It doesn't seem to do any damage. Possibly something just to do with the packaging. But then we've got zombie upgrades as well. Uh, hero deck and the uh, zombie deck. I would open them up and go through them, but then I have to unstick a whole bunch of them. That's just going to take way too long. But there we go. That is Last Not on Earth Timber Peak Standalone Expansion. Very excited to try, to try and play it. If you would like to see it on a game night on a Saturday, let me know in the comments below, and me and my wife will surely deliver for you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.